Hi team. So good evening to everyone. It is a very lovely day to meet all of you. Already we have reached 100 and we have four more minutes to go. Okay. So uh, please take a paper and pen. It is going to be a highly uh, practical session. We are going to, uh, uh, I'm not just going to give any lecture. Okay. We will be uh, seeing the things from the practical handle as far as possible. Okay. So uh, thank you very much for joining. Uh, so good evening to everyone. We will wait for the next all of you. Already we have reached 100. We have four more minutes to go. Okay. So uh, please take a fair point. It is going to be a very really practical decision. Okay. So we have uh, three more minutes. Okay. So in the three more minutes, uh, just I would like to ask from our participants uh, your name and where are you from? Your name and where are you from? Uh, if you put it in the chat box, it will be highly nice. I have, I have opened the chat box. The people who are in the YouTube uh, kindly put uh, the same thing. My people are there on the YouTube. The people who are from MOCAR, uh, any one person from MOCAR can stay here. Others can just leave and uh, be in uh, YouTube. That will be very nice. Your name and uh, where are you from? Philippines, Pakistan, Odisha, Hyderabad, Pakistan. Mauritius, Bangladesh, Ghaziabad, Mauritius, Kathmandu, Philippines. Wow, that's great. That's great, actually. USA. We are having people from. Uh, team, is it audible? Can you just put it in the chat box? Is it audible? Philippines. We are having more people this time from Philippines. I'm very happy to meet all of you. Yeah, uh, I think the voice is audible. If it is not audible for uh, someone uh, there, kindly check your connections. Kindly check your uh, internet connections and speed, etc., etc. Okay. So uh, thank you very much. So we have two more minutes then. Okay. So we are having uh, people from uh, various places. So thank you very much for joining. Thank you very much for joining. MOCAD, uh, we have been giving the basics, the basics of all science in a practical way every day. Last week, we conducted a program on happiness. Team, even when we are uh, joined, I would like to tell one thing. Okay. There are total seven and uh, 800 people applied for today's program. Okay. We have uh, said it very clearly. If it is not available in the Zoom, you can watch it in the YouTube. Okay, so uh, the simple my request is whether you are watching it in YouTube or Zoom. Okay, uh, you are watching only my program, and you are it is going to be highly practical. Take a paper and pen and be ready. Okay. Now, during the program, during the program, I will ask some questions. Okay, answer the question in my uh, mobile, in my WhatsApp. I will give my WhatsApp number. I will tell my WhatsApp number three times in this program. Okay. I will tell in YouTube also and I will tell here also. 996216312. Kindly note down this number. I want every one of you to note down this number. It is my mobile number. Nine, uh, WhatsApp number 996216312. Yeah. Recording will be available. But... See uh, the certificate. I would like. I would like to give within three days. Okay, happiness program we completed last week uh, Sunday. People didn't submit the assignment, but they are asking certificate even now. 
which we will not be able to give now. So three days. That is uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Wednesday will be the last date for certificate. I will be asking some questions today and tomorrow. Answer, I want you to give it in this number. Okay, I want you to... Uh, uh, Okay, no problem. Uh, Sayyid, you need not talk. You can listen. That's enough. You can listen. The people who have joined from the international uh, area, it, it is uh, sleeping time there. You need not interact. You need not interact. You can just follow the things and practical aspects, whatever we are telling, just uh, please uh, do it. That is enough. Okay. Others, as far as possible, you can come on the video. That will be very nice. Okay, if you are coming on the video, that will be very very nice. So uh, the few uh, instructions: Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Within these three days, the certificate will be issued. After Wednesday, I will not be issuing it. First day, because uh, then we will have to concentrate for the next week program. Okay, every week we are having program. First thing, in between the program today and tomorrow, I will be asking questions. Okay, for those questions, please. Give your answers in this number. I have given the number. I have texted the number. Please give in this number. Now, please take a white sheet. Please take a white sheet. Okay. Please take a white sheet. Uh, have at least uh, four or five A4 sheets. Okay. Please have four or five A4 sheets. Okay ruled or unruled, whatever may be the aspect, as per your uh, requirement, okay? If possible, have some ruled, have some unruled, if possible. Otherwise, uh, uh, whatever is available in your house, okay? I think that makes sense. Uh, take uh, uh, pen or pencil and five uh, papers, okay? A4 sheets. Please take uh, Two minutes time. And after two minutes, kindly uh, come on the video. Kindly come on the video. I am very, very happy to meet all of you. See, you are seeing me. Isn't it? Your smiling face, you are all seeing. And I would also like to see all the smiling faces. Seema Agarwal. Wow, Seema Agarwal. Very happy to meet you, Seema. Monica Arara. Very happy to meet you. Uh, Dr. Pavan. Dr. Pavan, Shabani Ghosh, Suman Pandey, Namrata Kaur, Ajit, Hina Sadek, Ashita, Monika. Very nice. Very nice to meet all of you. Uh, by the way, let me see whether uh, uh, my team from Emocal has joined. Team from Emocat, uh, if you are able to come on the video, I will be able to introduce all of you. Uh, we have with us uh, Mohana, Mona. Uh, we have with us uh, Mona Delhi, who is from uh, Emocat. Okay, who is from Emocat. And uh, yeah, Mona, can you say hi to people? Can you say hi? When you lift your, uh, yeah. Just uh, say a hi to people. Yeah. Right. So that is Mona uh, from Evocare. And we have Fatma here. Fatma? Fatma? Yeah. So we have, uh, I am very happy to introduce my team to all of you. We have uh, Mona here joined. She is uh, part and parcel of Evocare. And uh, we have Fatma Varsha, Swati, Preeti, Priya. Tabasam and uh, Shaurat. You might have been in any one of the group of them. Okay, Nazia. So these all are the people, part of my team. Definitely you may be in any one of the group. They are, they are all pertaining to Emocat. So you can uh, have your interaction with them. And uh, if you are interacting with them, it means you are interacting with Emocat. Okay. Um, uh, Mona, Mona Delhi, she is there. And uh, Fatma, Swati, uh, Preeti, Priya, Nazia, Shaurat, and uh, uh, Tabasam, and Rona. So these are all the people. Thank you very much. Now let us go into the session. Take a paper. Take a paper. Write, I am a winner. See, 
when i tell i will be telling something uh, i don't want any other questions okay <laughs> right i am a winner okay right i am a winner so the team from uh, youtube thank you very much for joining dr sunita chillar rajini nigam uh, shivasta and uh, ashish jori melina carmel kalarani chandrashekar nitya kanu lakshmi uh, rajnita mukherji raguvi mehrin these all are the people who are attending the program from uh, youtube in youtube at present 144 people are watching thank you very much and uh, i have put my number in the youtube i request you more can people to be on the uh, to be on youtube and uh, just whatever message i am passing on here kindly pass it on okay now let's uh, go yeah so hope you have all written okay can you show it in the camera you have written i am a winner can you show it now uh, see uh i will just uh, spotlight the things to all of you okay i am a winner okay okay uh i am just showing just to see how they have written okay i want every one of you to see how they have written when you are seeing i want you to see how they have written the letters the gap between the letters how big they are written okay the paper is very very big okay how they have written all these things kindly note it okay now see this one yeah uh one afsara afsara i am showing afsara afsara please uh, please show it afsara now afsara afsara little bit uh, take it back take it back like this yeah it is visible now yeah now see team the gap between i and am am and ye Me and Vina, see the gap. Okay, now, yeah. Thank you very much, uh, Abdullah. Uh, now let me ask Manchi Sharma. I am showing Manchi Sharma. Manchi Sharma, see Manchi Sharma. Again, the uh, see the uh, gap, see the gap, and also how she has written W and I. How she has written W and I, and I how she has written I. In both the areas, it is completely closed. I is closed. okay and how she has put the dot for i how she has put the dot just keep all these things in your mind we are going to discuss about all these aspects namrita kaur namrita kaur i am showing um, namrita kaur now see here here the w and i it is not joined okay and see the space in between uh, see the space in between how much she has given okay now let me show something else Uh, team anyone else anyone else i would like to show uh, uh please show it okay i am showing uh uh a suman i am showing uh yeah i am a winner see how she has written okay and uh, ajita no i am i am showing ajita no ajita no i am in a see here the space space is not that much the space is not that much okay and uh, <coughs> also i want you to see how 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 much pressure they have applied for example uh, atiti na you see how the pressure is applied the same thing monica that also you can see <coughs> kvp priya kvp priya uh i am adding kvp priya see these two things okay see these two things now let us go uh, to the session okay now let us go to the session thank you very much thank you very much team now take one more paper take one more paper because see now when i am taking the uh, uh, when i start discussing okay i want you to interpret your own writings i want you to interpret okay so how interpretation can take place you have to write something isn't it 
I want you to write a paragraph about, okay, success and your life. Your life and success. Okay, please write. Please write a paragraph, minimum 10 uh, lines. Minimum 10 lines. Okay. My life and success. My life and success. Write 10. Uh, uh, write a paragraph about it. Okay, come on. Write, then uh, we will go into the program. You will be able to interpret your own handwriting. The time limit is uh, three minutes. Three minutes time. Three minutes time. Uh, Aditi, I want you to write a paragraph. My life and success. How you see your life? <clears throat> you will be seeing your life as a successful story. Na? If I say only my life, we may write anything. I want you to write only about the success. My life and success. Please. Three minutes time. Three minutes time. One more minute. One more minute. One more minute. It is live on YouTube. It is live on YouTube. So you people need not worry. Even after the training program, you can uh, play it in the YouTube and you can see it. Absolutely uh, no problem. So if your internet connection is uh, not good, okay. Abdul Najib has written it. Very nice. Yeah. Now keep that, whatever you have written. Once you have completed, you can put C in the chat box. Please put C in the chat box. Once you have completed. Yeah. Okay, just put C in the chat box. That's enough. Now uh, we will go ahead with the uh, thing. Once I get around uh, some 50 uh, uh, C. Very nice. <clears throat> okay, Monty, thank you. When you finish, kindly put uh, C. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. We will go into the class. Okay.
Is it visible? Is it visible, team? Is it visible? Yes, sir, it's visible. Yeah, thank you very much. Yes. Thank, you. thank you very much. So, uh, graphology. <clears throat> See, uh, there are various uh, misconceptions about uh, graphology. There are various uh, misconceptions. The misconceptions are like this, particularly among psychologists. Okay. Recently, I was talking with one psychologist. He said, graphology, area. Uh, no, no, I'm not interested. I asked him why. Why that you are not interested? Area, graphology, it is not science yet. Graphology is not science. I asked him, okay, uh, when a client comes to your clinic, when a client comes to your clinic, what is that you will be doing first? What is that you will be doing first? You know, uh, what is this question here? I will welcome him and I will ask him to sit then after that. Then I will talk with him. So I asked him, okay, whether you will give anything uh, for him to write, for example, his name, your client history has to be taken. Na? When you go to your doctor, he gives a paper in which you will be writing the client is uh, your name. Where are you from? What is your mobile number? What is your address? Okay. Most of the places wherein you go for counseling, this all of the thing not asked. But uh, where, wherever things are professionally done, in my clinic and all, we uh, obtain first. We ask the people to write. The moment you ask someone to write, what happens is they will little bit come into their sixth sense. See, the simple aspect is we are having, we are having two uh, nervous system okay parasympathetic nervous system sympathetic nervous system <clears throat> now when you are tense when you are in stress when you are in confusion okay which nervous system is in action which nervous system is in action parasympathetic nervous system or sympathetic nervous system when you are tense now just before starting of the session one gentleman called me and jumped at 100 people have power. What is that? Uh, like that, he started shouting at me. I told Arya, kindly watch it in YouTube. Are you are going to watch? Oh, what is the problem? Isn't it? When you are intense, when you are intense, when you are, uh, when you feel uh, uh, out of gear, when you are in anger, you are in sympathetic nervous system. Your total body. Your total self is controlled by uh, sympathetic nervous system. When you are calm, when you are cool, when you are able to take decisions, when now at present you are all, you are in parasympathetic nervous system. Now, when you want to write something now, the moment you take the pen and start writing now, what happens is you will not be able to write if you are not. At least a little bit calm. See, even if you are not calm, if you are in anger, you will be able to write it. But that will not have, that will really show it in the paper that you are anger. When you want to write something intellectual, na, something intellectual, immediately something, the anger or whatever aspect, it comes down. It comes down. So in the counseling hall, the moment they come, if you ask uh, them to write something, na, if you give them something to write, okay, immediately this is also called deflection. See, today I would like to tell you about the science behind uh, graphology. People may be putting T. If you are writing T like this, uh, this will happen, this will happen. Okay, I would like to concentrate more on the science behind graphology. See, he, a person comes into counseling or life coaching or you are going for training, whatever may be the purpose, or you are a teacher. What happens when you start writing, when you start writing, you start thinking. Without your thinking, you will not be able to write. Even when you are angry, even when people write the suicide notes, they think and write. Na? Little bit thinking comes. Isn't it? So that most of the people, it has, uh, through a study, it was found out 
people take the right then they first want the things the negative aspects only the people who are in serious trouble they take the decisions so in a counseling hall when a person comes you are giving something to write it is called a deflection the technique is called deflection i am putting it in the chat box deflection deflection means okay changing the thought process changing something he has come with a heavy uh, uh, mind he is having complaints sir my wife has beaten me sir night 11 o'clock she is beating me what is this sir sir please no, sir. sir please fill up this okay wherein it is written what is your name what is your wife name yes right now he is having anger but the palm is to be filled na he starts writing what is your uh, child name do you have children yes name of the children deflection writing provides the counselor a time a time to make the counselee relaxed anyone who uh, thinks graphology is uh, are a graphology uh, psychology me kya they are actually uh, uh, not using one of the best tool in the world one of the best tool it is one of the best tool because even after a murder forensic team they evaluate the writings they evaluate the writing they evaluate the writing and they try to pitch in when the letter was written what was the mindset of the person who was written what was the mindset so a graphology it is one of the best aspect to study only one aspect this graphology can be studied by anyone but if a life coach or psychologist they study they will be able to implement it for uh, some larger purpose now before proceeding i will tell you uh, one more aspect and uh, continue graphology is not a independent therapy style see there are two aspects one is independent therapy the another one is a dependent therapy stand alone therapy stand alone therapy means you can use only that therapy and you can do the counseling or life coaching for example cognitive behavior therapy okay you need not you need not uh, incorporate any other uh, therapy styles only cbt only by using cbt and the uh, techniques of cbt without going outside the cbt only by application of cbt you will be able to do counseling you can do post marital counseling you can do pre marital counseling you can uh, do it for uh, anxiety uh, depression without incorporating any other therapy styles only cbt is enough it is called stand alone therapy stand alone therapy there are some therapy it is not stand alone therapy it is a dependent therapy it is not stand alone therapy dependent therapy for example hypnotherapy hypnotherapy it is not a stand alone therapy you cannot apply only hypnotherapy and uh, 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 without application of any other therapy says only hypnotherapy you cannot uh, help a client to help a client you need to help a client you need uh, certain aspects okay yeah one minute in one minute one client uh, madam sollunga madam ओके <laughs> uh they were in some urgency okay i asked them to come and sit so one of the aspect is graphology is also not a uh, stand alone therapy it is not a stand alone therapy it is a dependent therapy you should be having the uh, knowledge and understanding of the various therapies 
to understand the individual. So you will, you will be incorporating CBG, NLP, REBT, all other aspects into graphology and try to identify the various aspects. Okay, take a paper, take a paper, draw your picture. Take one sheet, draw your picture, draw your picture. Come on. Draw your picture. The time limit is two minutes. Okay, hope it is over. You have drawn it. When you were drawing, when you were drawing, when we when I told that draw your picture, what happened inside? You started drawing. Your attention is a diverted little bit. Your attention is at uh, a diverted little bit, and uh, you started drawing, isn't it? Yes or no? Madam, may I come? Madam, come, come. Not training, let's go. Yeah. Can anyone just open your mic and tell whether your mind got a little bit uh, relaxed or not? Something deflection. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This is what called it. Yes, sir. It did. It did. Yeah. Okay. So. Right from uh, the beginning, what I was telling is, graphology is a good science and art. It is both science and both art. How it is science, how it is art, we'll see it. Okay. Graphology, it is not a standalone therapy. It is not a standalone therapy. It is a dependent model. It is a dependent therapy. You can use graphology in accordance with or in uh, connection with. All other therapy styles, you can utilize it. <clears throat> graphology should not be, graphology should not be interpreted or a judgment should not be made based on one letter. See, we are going to see now. I, suppose if, we, if somebody writes like this, what is the meaning? T, if there's somebody writes, what is the meaning? We are going to see. But only one word, one letter will not decide the personality. You will have to take into the complete handwriting and come to the judgment based upon your own interaction with the person. And by application of other therapy styles, you will have to come to your decision. You should not, we should not, it is not you. We should not pass any judgment based on one letter. For example, now that we have seen, somebody has given space. I am a winner. Okay. Some people have given space. Some people have not given space. Isn't it? Now, if you give space, it means something in graphology. If you are giving space, it means something in, uh, in graphology. If you are not giving space, it means something in graphology. But only this aspect should not be taken into account to pass any kind of judgment that has to be studied, that has to be studied in accordance with all other letters how they write and my own uh, 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 hunch. Yes, please welcome ma'am. Please come and sit. My own judgment and my own other aspects. Okay. Now, uh, so <clears throat> when I'm discussing, please don't think, please don't come into a conclusion because I am telling this letter, if you write like this, uh, the meaning is this. Don't come to a conclusion. It has to be studied with the, uh, with uh, comparing to all other uh, letters, how you write and the interaction, 
and other therapy styles. Okay. So whatever we have seen so far, can anyone uh, just recollect and tell me? Please, please go ahead. Can anyone uh, recollect? Yes, sir. Shall I start? You told us that there are two types of processes, parasympathetic and sympathetic. In the parasympathetic, uh, parasympathetic process, we, we use it when we are calm and able to take decisions. On yeah. the other hand, sympathetic is when we are not able to, are unable to take decisions and we are feeling anger and anxious. Um, other than that, you talked about the deflection that is changing the thought process. You uh, took example of uh, take, making our own figure on the paper and we suddenly changed our mind. Other than that, you told us that graphology is dependent therapy. It is not a standalone therapy. We can be, it can be used. It should be used with other therapy styles. We should not pass any judgment without studying the, without studying the whole writing. It should be compared with other therapies. Uh, we should take it into consideration of other uh, aspects also. Okay. It is not that suppose, for example, uh, if somebody writes uh, by uh, pressing the pen too much, okay, that means aggressive means immediately we should not come to a conclusion that he is an aggressive person. Okay. In some of the areas, even Vivekananda ji used to uh, write uh, like that. Can we say Vivekananda ji is aggressive? No. We should not come into a conclusion just because one aspect is applicable. No. We have to take it into gestalt. Gestalt means whole. Gestalt means whole. When you are interpreting, we have to take it into the whole. Okay. Now let me see. How many of you uh, here? You are all uh, very good. Uh, uh, you have very good uh, understanding. Okay. I gave you uh, something to draw. I gave something to draw. Why I gave something to draw? Can anyone guess? So to make us understand what deflection is. Yeah, okay. Yeah, deflection is. Any, anyone else? Relaxation. Yeah, Any, anyone else? To feel the emotion. Anyone else? To feel the emotion. Okay, Any, anything else? To calm us down and uh, get the understanding properly. Now, this is what even in graphology, in graphology or any other therapy, a psychologist, a psychology student, okay, always we should be aware. Reflective listening. Reflective listening means when something is being done, why it is being done, okay. I told the client is coming, okay. The client is searching for my uh, office, okay. Now I need time. Two seconds time I need so that I can go out and bring them in. But I, uh, uh, you people are here. So I gave a small exercise. Okay. I went outside and brought them in. Deflection. This is called deflection. Now, when you are doing deflection, the other person should not know that it is a deflection. Now, when I gave the exercise, you do not know. Nah, because when I asked, you didn't tell. You do not know, only for this purpose, he is coming and he is going outside. You are not aware. Like that, we have to use the deflection. Okay. Now we will uh, go quickly into the uh, aspect. So, uh, is it boring? Is it boring? No, sir. No, sir. It's very interesting. 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 Graphology is very, very interesting. The things which we are going to discuss will be much more interesting. Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. Now, graphology. Okay. Introduction. So, I am from Yemocar. Uh, Yemocar is world, not India, world's first chain of counseling uh, centers. You have chain for coffee day. Coffee day chain of counseling centers. Uh, uh, chain of uh, coffee days. You have. Is that it? You have a chain of hospitals. Apollo is available in uh, Delhi. Apollo is available in uh, Chennai, Prime to Madurai, various places. Isn't it? The world's first chain of counseling centers, that is MOCAR. We have our uh, MOCAR branches at Chennai, Kolkata, which is being managed by Fatma, 
and uh, we have uh, we have it in bangalore which is being managed by dr rati and uh, sumitra and we have it in uh, 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 kanjiburam which is being managed by preeti and we have it in dubai which is being managed by suhaila and we are having it in, even in uh, netherlands it is being managed by kartika and uh, we are having it in uh, bellur which is being managed by dr kaus dr kaus uh, mbbs md he is uh, handling it and uh, we uh, we have a, a branch in rani pet which is being uh, managed by ms man so uh, emocare is india's first uh, world's first china counseling and uh, coaching uh, company and uh, we are having franchise opportunities if anybody is interested you can just uh, get in touch with me uh, about the details and gtco gtccu is global trainers coaches and counselors organization through this we are giving opportunities to counselors coaches and uh, trainers okay graphology is not a hard science why it might give you insight into someone's personality avoid using it to pass judgment so what is hard science and what is soft science hard science is if you throw a ball if you throw a ball the ball will come down gravitational force science if you do repeatedly it will give only the same result you throw the ball the ball will come down hard science soft science is always it will not give the same result graphology is not hard science always it doesn't give the same result and it can, it is not completely evidence based Hard science means completely evidence based. Graphology is not completely evidence based. While it might give, it might give you, it might understand the word might. It might give you insight into someone's personality. Avoid using it to pass judgment. We should not use it for passing judgment. Okay. So these are our various credentials. Okay. so uh, the uh, what is that we are going to do in the two days is we are going to understand what is graphology how it is useful for personal life how it is useful for our personal professional life and how it can be useful in psychotherapy these are all the things are roughly i am going to talk so uh, when this uh, actually started this graphology when it has started Sumerian merchants were the first to codify their transactions in a recognizable script in 3000 BC. And in 500 BC, Confucius warned, "Beware of a man, beware of a man whose writing sways like a reed in the wind." In the wind. 500 BC, and that is the time the graphology started. In the 19th century, France played a major role in laying the foundations for the formal study of graphology. So, in 1622, Italian doctor Camillo Valli writes how to recognize from a letter the nature and quality of a writer. This is the first known printed publication in the study of uh, graphology. 1895, Willem Preyer, child psychologist. says a writing originates in the brain not in the fingers a writing originates in the brain so that when you start writing little bit the parasympathetic nerve system is triggered you are tense you are in angry you are in confusion your sympathetic nerve system is in action the moment you start writing something what happens is you come to your sympathetic nerve system little bit that is why it said writing originates in the brain not in the fingers since it starts in the brain it is associated with psychology because psychology studies brain as well as mind mind is also deeply related with uh, writing because you cannot you cannot you cannot take out the mind from the brain brain from the mind both are the same part of coin there is a coin you are having head and you can you have tail 
both are on the same coin. You cannot separate it. Like that, brain and mind cannot be. Uh, you cannot speak it uh, differently because whatever happens in the brain, it reflects in the mind. Whatever happens in the mind, it reflects on the uh, brain. So, uh, in 1895, Willem Breyer uh, has said this. So, the word graphology it is derived from grapho, from the Greek, and the logos, which relates to discussion of or your theory. That is a logic. You, we are having many logic, psychology. Okay. Uh, logic means uh, relates to discussion of theory, psychology, biology, isn't it? We are having many uh, logics. Graphology is the analysis of handwriting with attempt to detail someone's personality facts. Why graphology? Why graphology? Why graphology? The reason is that our personalities affect the way our handwriting develops affect after we are we were taught to write. This is because handwriting is a pattern of our psychology expressed in symbols on the page, and these symbols are as unique as our own DNA. The way in which you write I, and the way in which I write I, it differs. The way in which we started writing when we were young, the teacher was saying. The teacher was the same person who wrote, who told you how to write A. But there are 30 children inside the classroom. All the 30 children, they wrote it differently. All of them didn't write the same A. So it differs. But the graphology is an art or science. It is science because we measure the structures and the movements. We measure something. It is not that we just pass on the uh, thing. We just uh, don't pass the judgment. We measure the structure, movement of the written forms, and also we uh, we pay attention to the slants, angles, spacing. All these aspects are calculated, and your decision is made, or a hunch is made. Hence, this is a science. It is an art because the graphologist has constantly to keep in mind that the total context in which the writing is taking place. Suppose I am writing, I am a winner. I am writing, I am a winner in a classroom. When you are sad, depressed, you are writing, I am a winner. And you are looking at and crying. The writing is saying, I am a winner. But the context in which it takes place, it differs, isn't it? So we have to take the gestalt of the writing as a whole, gestalt, we have to take the gestalt so that it is an art. So uh, the key concepts uh, in graphology is a movement, a spacing and form, which we will be discussing uh, in the coming classes. The uses of graphology, there are many uses of graphology. It can be used in recruitment, management selection, corporate training, security uh, checking, career guidance. Particularly security checking, when you say when somebody is coming, you are writing. Na? Many things can be uh, incorporated. Personality profiling, child and family guidance, historical profiling. In all these aspects, uh, you can use the graphology. So the, there are very, uh, just I will show you some of the handwriting of the very famous people. These all are the things also you can keep it in mind when you are uh, interpreting your own handwriting. Okay. So this is Isaac Newton. Isaac Newton, I want you to just concentrate on J and I. How he has written the J. How he has written the I. Okay. I. See I how he has written. Okay. Isaac Newton. Now, this is Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs, pay attention to the loops. This is called a loop. This is called a loop. Okay, how the loop is written? How? Oh. Okay. And also uh, the gap between the letters. This is J.K. Rowling. Again, the I and the dot. I and the dot. Okay. Say it. Charles Darwin. 
Charles Darwin. Take care of the T. The T, this particular, this dash. T, see this, this T. T. This is uh, Oprah Winfrey, who is a very famous uh, person. Okay. Diana I. Okay. Just see it. On. On. The joining. The gap joining. Okay. See it. And also see the looping. The looping. Okay. So uh, this is Barack Obama. Barack Obama. Look at the T. Look at the T. Now, that's what I told you. you cannot, we cannot come to a conclusion with one aspect. Now, the capital T, how he has written here? How he has written the capital T here? Here, there is a gap. Here, there is no gap. So, I cannot just come to a conclusion based on this uh, particular uh, piece of note. I have to study minimum 10 to 15 pages what he has written. Then only I will be able to come to a conclusion about the Person. <laughs> okay, so uh, this is uh, Freida Kalu. Okay. Bill Gates. Bill Gates again. T. Look at the T. Look at the Y and the loops. Okay. So these are the aspects. Uh, I. Uh, these are the just basics. Basics of uh, these are the basics of graphology. Okay, the history of graphology, and uh, when when we have to interpret the graphology, what are the aspects we have to take take it into consideration? Okay, now I am opening the mic. Any doubts? Any doubts so far? Any doubts so far? Any doubts? So, Any um, doubts? Yeah. Yeah, Shrita. Yeah, Shrita. Okay. okay. If there is no doubt, we will uh, we will go to the uh, aspect. Okay. Now that you have written a paragraph, okay, take that paragraph. Take that paragraph and keep it in front of you. You have written a paragraph about uh, you. Okay. Just take it and uh, keep it in front of you. Okay. Now uh, we are going to see certain aspects and uh, you try to interpret. You try to interpret and uh, let us have a discussion. Okay. I'm not going to just uh, 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 read. We will have a discussion. Okay. You read it, you see it and uh, tell me from your pers uh, 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 from your perception. Okay. Whether you agree with this or no. Okay. It cannot be uh, correct for everyone because we have to take it into consideration of the complete aspect. But even then, little bit you can see it. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, please mute your calls. Team, please. It is uh, disturbing heavily. Can you please mute your calls? Please mute your calls. First, let me. Uh, okay. Now, we are going to first uh, start with the loops. More loops and open circles means more relaxed and open they are. See, loop, more loops and open circles means more relaxed and open they are. The roundness of someone's letters shows their openness. Look for L, this loop, Y, J, this is a loop, this is a loop. Okay, G, loop. The roundness, the roundness of someone's letters shows their openness. Openness means uh, more loops and the open circle means they are more relaxed and they are uh, open, open to discuss things. Now, when I say open here, uh, Johari window, 
that is why i told graphology is not a, a independent uh, therapy open means see uh, joari window says we are having four parts the mind is having four parts one of the aspect is i also know you also know shivakumar uh, is a good uh, communicator i also know a few of you may know it that is i also know you also know the other part is i only know you do not know. sitting from here you may be thinking that uh, shivakumar is a very good person i uh, is uh, he is uh, training in psychology he is a very good person but what kind of person shivakumar shivakumar only knows it. there is a part in me which you may not know it isn't it so there is a part open in you that is i also know you also know there is a part which i only know you do not know so here open means how much uh, open your behaviors your thinking your thoughts with other people too much opening is also not good for a leader if at all you want to be the leader and too much close is also uh, not uh, not a good sign of leadership now let us try to understand now see this see the loops here see the loops here okay see the loops here some of the loops are very big some of the circles are big some of the circles are very loose okay uh sir uh, 10 more minutes sir yeah yeah so the roundness of someone's letter shows their openness the more loops and open circles in someone's writing the more relaxed and open they are now take your uh, handwriting the thing which you have written take it take the handwriting which you have written look at the roundness look at the roundness and look at the uh, loops and open circles the more the more loops and open circles in someone's writing the more relaxed and open they are in contrast people who write with straight lines rather than a lot of loops see g can be written straight also without a loop without a loop also you can write for example see why can be written like this and why can be written with a, a loop also the people who write uh, straight lines okay rather than loops maybe uh, the people who are autocratic the autocratic people means see whatever i am telling you follow it they can be autocratic and they be, uh, all the autocratic people uh, they will be tense take the history take the autocratic people for example hitler tense always isn't it take uh, any uh, autocratic people you and their writing will show that they don't use too much of uh, loops they uh, use the straight lines the lower case l is a good place to look for this the lower case l the lower case l how that you write l is a good place to look for this as well as letters that drop below the base line that is y j and g okay rounded letters might also signify someone who is more artistic and creative suppose if you are uh, having more uh, roundedness or the loops that means you are more creative and artistic someone who writes a uh, very straight they are not creative see uh, it is uh, it's also a common sense isn't it while pointy letters indicate someone who is more rational and aggressive why i write uh, straight that indicates rational and aggressive more rounded letters are also seen as more feminine more rounded feminine letters you can see it will be uh, it will have loops and uh, uh, openness more whereas male when you uh, see it will have uh, lines and sharp angles so sharp angles seen as masculine and the more rounded and loops are seen as feminine okay i want you people to take a screenshot of this because uh, i may not be sharing the uh, we are not sharing the ppt please take the screenshot please take the screenshot please take the screenshot because we may not be sharing the uh, ppt please take the screenshot okay take the screenshot one take the screenshot two take the screenshot three
three. One, take a screenshot. Two, take a screenshot. Three, take a screenshot. Okay. Now, look at your handwriting. Okay. Uh, is it having more looks? Maybe feminine. Female, they may be having mostly psychologists because they are creative. They are artistic people. One of the artistic and creative people are psychologists and counselors. Maybe your uh, handwriting will be having more loops. Look at your uh, writing and uh, please share your ideas. And uh, the masculine, look at your handwriting, whether it is straight or uh, it is having loops and uh, rounds. Yeah, open for discussion. Yes, sir. My right. Yeah, you can show it in the uh, camera also. also. You can share it in the. Uh, uh, you can share it in the camera also. Okay, sir. And you can also do one thing. You can take a, a snap. You can take a snap and share it to me. Okay, if possible, I will interpret. This is my number. Yeah, see Ashraf Beg. Now let us see Ashraf. Ashraf, it is very nice. Can you show it? Uh, can you show it? I will spotlight it. Okay. I'm spotlighting it for everyone. Okay. Yeah. Uh, rotate. Uh, Ashraf, please rotate. Please uh, rotate. Please rotate. Ashraf, please rotate. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, take it back. Take it back. Yeah. Now, yeah, that's clear. That's clear. Now, CT. Okay. Uh, yes, see the yes, see the yes. Okay, I am Ashraf Yaf Begum G. Uh, feeling yes, okay, feeling yell. Uh, so, uh, the yes, the it is having a uh, good uh, loops. And uh, she said uh, something which we will uh, discuss it afterwards. Okay. Uh, Ashraf Begum, you can just get in touch with me after the program. Anything, anyone else? Just interpret the whatever we have uh, read now. You yourself interpret until you want to be a graphologist. Na? You interpret your own writing, whether it is having loops and uh, uh, roundness. Uh, I will show you a replace spotlight. See this one? <laughs> see. Now see this Y. See the Y. It is not straight. It is. It is a loop. A very big loop. A very big loop. See here also Y. See the Y. Here. So not only in one place Y. In many places Y is uh, a loop. So that means maybe uh, a creative and a relaxed person, maybe, okay? Maybe a relaxed person, okay? Maybe here I have to uh, see the complete handwriting, then only we will be able to interpret. Before that, we will not be able to interpret it, okay? Uh, but uh, please put it in the chat box. The first thing about the loop under round, have you understood? If you have understood, please put you. If you have understood, please put you. If you have any questions, please ask. Excuse me, sir. Can I share? Yeah, Dr. Naima. Yeah, please, please. Can you show it? Yeah, that's... Uh, you have to a little bit raise it. Yeah. Now see, you can see uh, that is what uh, she is a psychologist, man. Psychology. See the loop. See the loop here. The loop is very uh, nicely evident, isn't it? The loop is very nicely evident here also. And uh, see this yell. It is not striped. It is not striped. See this one. So uh, see this R. See this R. So uh, maybe since she's a psychologist, 
definitely she may be a, a how i can share my screen uh, ma uh, ma no uh, uh, who is that naima very nice thank you very much who is that who wants to share naima ke baat hai to me yeah start see here it is very uh, see here it is not looks okay here it is not uh, very great looks but seems to be little bit see compound component see the p see the p and uh, uh, see uh, the looks are not see you have see the yeah see the yeah here see the yeah here okay mostly looks and uh, uh roundness is not very great maybe it is not that it is not that your person who is not having uh, they are aggressive no they may be having the leadership quality that means the people who are uh, writing like that maybe uh if they are uh, if they are single children if they are single children in their home yes okay sir. definitely uh, are you seeing Yes, they are single children. If they, if they are single children, they will be having yes. that uh, because see, the total family shows the love on them, so they become naturally they become stubborn children. Stubborn children, they will be uh, having that leadership quality and all. That was very nice. See, only positive aspects I am telling. Okay, the autocratic leader can be aggressive. Okay. Thank you. Can I so can I share mine? Yeah, one minute, one minute. So, yes, team, sir. what you can do is, uh, please uh, take a photograph. Please take a photograph and uh, share it in my number. And if possible, I will six two one six three one double two. Now, uh, team, please note, please note one sentence I am telling. Uh, first day class, today first day class. The keyword, only the keyword. The keyword is. Uh, uh, loop, loop and rounds. Please text me this word. Please text me this word nine nine six two one six three one double two. This is my number because this is when you text me, it is uh, clear that you have attended this session. Roundness and loop, simple. Okay. now it is 3 uh, i will take just 5 uh, more minutes okay i will take just 5 more minutes we will go to uh, another uh, aspect okay i i told you na know, i further the dot the more imaginative and creative they are see the i here if the people are putting the dot immediately not above the i if it is either on the left side or the right side okay the people may be more creative see this i see this dot see this dot okay a round or open bubble means writer has a child like curiosity see this visionary i roundness i roundness this open bubble it indicates that they are child like actually they are very simple they are child like mostly female they use like this slash your yes, slash see like this your yes, slash means the person is writing in a hurry maybe always they are having the hurry up style that is a transactional analysis we say hurry up the personality will be very fast in everything very fast in taking decisions very fast in fast uh, walking even when they are talking they will be very very fast okay now this bubbleness how many of you are having please put it in the chat box when you are writing i this bubble like this bubble how many of you putting please put it in the chat box how many of you put this i like this either not immediately above the uh, i with uh, uh, some gap either left side or right side how many of you put like this that means uh, you are, you may be imaginative and creative and this bubble it reflects your uh, you are having a child like curiosity that is a transactional analysis we say their natural child is more that is why i said 
Graphology should be studied along with other sciences. Uh, transactional analysis, we have Arya. So this time, maybe a hurry up uh, pattern. This one, maybe natural child, natural child. Okay, this is also a natural child. <clears throat> the location of the eye dot tells you how visionary someone is. Generally, the further away from the stem, a person dots their eyes, the more imaginative and creative they are seen to be. This makes sense if you recall that the top of the page represents dreams and goals. An eye dot closer to the stem means the writer is organized and pays attention to details. That is a be perfect driver in transactional analysis. See, the dot is very, very, uh, uh, pass me, both pass me. if it is very closer, that means they are having be perfect driver. So the complete transactional analysis, be perfect driver, hurry up driver, natural child. Okay, please take a, a screenshot if you want. This makes sense if you recall that, that uh, an eye dot closer to the stem means the writer is organized and pays attention to details. Okay, if the eye dot is more of a slash than a dot, it could mean that the person was writing quickly or that they are pretty rushed and they may have eye style. If the eye dot is a round, open bubble, the right may be childlike. And they may be having the natural child, mostly the scientists, all the scientists, most of the scientists, if you see, they will uh, 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 write like this. Okay, how many of you uh, have this? How many of you uh, uh, put a bubble when you are writing I? Please put it in the chat box or please open the uh, mic and tell me. We are coming to the end of the class. If somebody writes like this, me, bubble, mala heart. Okay. Uh, Nandini, uh, yeah. Hello. This is Nandini. I always use bubble. Yeah. Nandini, yeah, please, Nandini, please go ahead. Uh, my um, eye is with bubble, and um, it's not the, like closed and bubble. Bubble. That there is, is no like gap and bubble. bubble. What are you, Nandini? Nandini, what are you? What are you, uh, Am I audible? Yeah, yeah. What are you, Nandini? I'm a, I'm a psychologist. I'm a psychologist. Your, your psychologist will be a natural child. <laughs> your psychologist must be natural child. Oh, the moment we want, we should, be able to <laughs> we should be able to laugh immediately. We should be able to uh, express any expression, isn't it? That's I use... Uh, yeah, Ajit, please go ahead. Ajit. Ajit, please go ahead. Okay. Team, tomorrow we will meet with much more aspects. If you have some questions, please put it in my number. My number I already have given. 9199. Please post it to me. Please post it to me. Uh, tomorrow also we will uh, uh, join and we will discuss. Thank you very much for joining. Uh, join earlier tomorrow. We will have a discussion for some more time tomorrow. Uh, since I have some friends here to meet, I'm moving. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Tomorrow we will meet. Thank you. Okay. Bye bye.